Hello, sports fans. King Inky Boo coming to you live from the underground bunker. Preparing for a big video. Been preparing nonstop. Working, working in Excel. Getting everything ready. Lots of work. But someone asked me on the boards a couple weeks ago, how do I get the schedules into Excel? So I thought, it, I said, I promised I'd do a video, so I will do a video. So we're putting in, I'm working on the 1979 NFL season. And uh, one of the teams that I dread to put in, the Steelers. We'll work on the Steelers. Never was a Steeler fan, especially when I was a kid. You know, they always won. If you like the Steelers, you probably like the Yankees, you know, kind of thing. So uh, I just finished with Houston. Now we're going to go to Pittsburgh. So first of all, you go and find Pittsburgh. They're in first place, of course. And you bring them up in Pro Football Reference. And you scroll down here to get the schedule and game results. All right. And then what you're looking for here is the share and more. And you go down to the third one, which is get as Excel workbook. Experimental. You're going to be experimenting like a lab rat. So you click on that and it says, what do you want to do with this? Duh, what do you want to do with it? Well, you click on OK and then you wait for it and it always gives you the same error. Doesn't The file format extension doesn't match. Could be corrupt or unsafe. Well, you know, I'm still alive. I've been, I've been uh, using this quite a while so I can vouch that it's not unsafe. So you click on enable editing because Excel has lots of protection. Okay, so there's certain columns that you can put all the columns in if you want. Uh, I don't put them all in. I take the day out. You know, if it's Monday night, you know, I can figure it out by the date. I also take the playoffs out, out because, uh, you know, I don't schedule the playoffs. And I take this top column off because it's score, offense, and defense. I don't need that. It just gets in, in the way. Okay, so... I take out uh, the OT because if it's overtime, I don't really care. And this record, I keep this in, but it always puts it as a date because it's screwed up. But So I just take it out. And, oh yeah, box score, I don't need that. And the time, you know, I don't need the time. And I want the score, but I don't want first downs and all that. So I delete these. Then I get to this. This is all the stuff I want. The week, the date, wins, whether they won, whether they're home or on the road, the team they're playing against, and the score. That's all I want. You can have as much as you want. This is just what King Ikibu does. King Ikibu does what King Ikibu does. Okay, so now you notice here that uh, because of the way, you know, I have doubles spaced. Because I have, you know, when I play the game here, this is where I play the game. I play the game in here, and there's, you know, one, so it's at Washington, so Pittsburgh will be in Washington in the first game of the year, so I want to put Pittsburgh here and Washington here, so I need double space. However, when you look at your file that you created, it's only single space, so what do you do? Do you copy it in there and copy one line and it takes forever? No. Well, I did that a first few times, and I say, this sucks. This has got to be a different way to do it. Make it automatically double space. Well, there is. So what you do is you highlight this and you click insert. So it creates another column right in the front. And I make it smaller because I don't know, you don't have to, but I'm anal that way. So you click, hit the number one in the one that you want first. If you wanted week first, which I don't want, I put the one here. But I put the one by one because I want to start this information. I could... I could take this off, but I don't really bother. I want it right here to start. So I click on one, then I click back in the box and I put my cursor here and it turns into a cross and I go down to the end and it populates all ones. Then I go here and it might go to the CFL. Let's see if it does it again. Yes, it always wants to go to the CFL. CFL says, I want some attention. But you just ignore the CFL. And you click Fill Series, and it makes it 1 to 16 then. So that's the option. You click on Fill Series. And then it highlights it. And I just click Copy. And click on the bottom and click Paste. So I got two sets of 16. Then I click in the middle of the top left corner, so everything highlights. And I go to the Sort and Filter, Custom Sort. 
and I sort by column A, the one I created. And make sure, you know, it defaults to smallest to largest, but in case it doesn't, you switch it to smallest to largest. And then you click OK. And ta-da! You have your double-sided. So then I highlight this. I don't want those ones I created. I just want this. Copy. Go back to your main screen. And you click on number one. And now you don't hit... Which one do you choose for paste options? You don't take this one. You take the values. That's what I do. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but there was times in the past where it did matter and made everything go crazy. So I take the values because so it keeps your formatting, your existing formatting. And there you are. You have the 1979 Pittsburgh Steelers schedule into Excel. Just like that. Then you just continue away. So then I go look also on football reference because I want to find out how many touchdowns they scored. I go down to the bottom and the Pittsburgh Steelers scored 52 touchdowns in 1979. So I put 52. All right. So I want to find out what the different uh, types of touchdowns. So they had, and usually I go like this so I don't have to keep switching. I just make it into two pages. And uh, two side by side, uh, you know, one is the the web page and the other is Excel. And I see I had 25. You have to might have to adjust it here. So 25 run touchdowns, and they had 26 passing. They had no punt or kick return, and they had one special or one defense. So there it is. These added up to 52. Then I go and see who threw. Well, we know it's Terry Bradshaw, but. Just to show you uh, the whole process. Yeah, I've, I've ranged it now so I don't have to type Terry Bradshaw up here on the top. You know, because I should, uh, well, I, I'll do that later. See, it has the last team I was working on, Houston, last. But I made it so that when I type in here, see, you try to do as fast as you can. And, you know, little formulas are your friend, right? So you now when I type in Terry Bradshaw here in this in this cell, Brad Shaw. Then uh, you know us here, Terry Bradshaw's up there. So it just saves you a little time. Then you look, Terry Bradshaw threw 26 touchdowns. He threw all of them. So that means Mike Kruzek, Kruzek had none. So, and then other, there was a third quarterback he would have zero. So this means every time there's a passing touchdown, Terry Bradshaw, 1,000% of the time, he's going to throw it. Then you go to the rushing, and you look at the, you know, it's too bad to take away the great Earl Campbell. Love that guy. Then I have to put someone I didn't love as much. Well, just because he was a stealer. I had nothing against him personally. Franco. Franco Harris. And that is, uh, he had 11 touchdowns. That CFL always wants to come back. It's like the cat. Okay, so uh, then I, I just always put these in order. So they had Sidney Thornton. Sidney Thornton. And he had six. And then uh, Rocky Blyer. See, I would have thought he would have been second, but I was wrong. And he had four. And then other. One, two, three, four others. And there you go. And then when you go back over here, this keeps track. So I just, you know, kind of go like this. And then I uh, click on this here. So I have this auto column fit. And then it fits nicely. It's, it's tailor-made for their names. So Bradshaw, Franco Harris, Sidney Thornton, Rocky Blyer, Mike Kruzczyk. And now I'm going to do the receivers. But that's basically how I do I go through every team. You can see how this, you know, I had to set it up first. The first time is the worst because you set it up and it takes the longest to set all the formulas and everything. But from now on, everything's going to be just, you know, it's a little bit easier now. So once I get to the end of the, the, of the uh, NFL, you know, I've already finished the uh, CFL. CFL, oh, you want to delete this. You don't need this anymore. Bye-bye. Pittsburgh schedule 
So, uh, CFL is here. Yes, so I got the CFL already. Because we are going to do an interesting project. Project? I don't know if I call it a project. You'll see what I call it. I've already announced it on the tabletop forums. But I'm going to do the video pretty much, you know, right away. Um, we're going to tell you what this is all about. Um, also, so I finished the CFL also. The one that took the longest by far was the uh, this one here. This one, this one took so much longer, and it's not even a full season. But it is. There's, there's baseball is the most complicated sport, you know. Like this one was way more complicated than all the others. But I have the baseball season ready, so that one is all done. That one took me pretty much the entire weekend. That's what I did. The entire weekend, I worked on this and the CFL, but the CFL didn't take nearly as much time. And I have the NFL done, and I'm ready to go. And I will announce it in the next video what we are doing. But anyway, that's it for now. King Ikibu signing off. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.